Okay, guys, I'm back. It's actually been two weeks since I stopped the video. And a little safety tip for you. Uh, when I was running my um, router sled over the boards that came from the mill, you know, there's a lot of sawdust, <clears throat> but there's also a lot of dirt on top of those. Did not wear a mask. I put this on uh, a little bit too late. I should have had this on from the get-go. I got a very bad bronchitis. It's just... My wife is calling me phlegm. That's how bad it was. And I'm still a little sick. But uh, make sure you do that. Wear your, uh, your mask, especially if you're doing dirty wood, because stuff gets in here. It's been weeks, and I'm just I'm struggling. So let me tell you where I am. So remember the drawing here. Um, now I'm looking at making these upright legs. Barrels upside down. Mark the line where they're going to come to. And... Um, what we're going to do is figure out, I not only have an angle this way to deal with, I have an angle this way. So um, what I did was, and I have a picture of the, let me see if I can mock it up for you here. I put a level on here, and I used this to, to simulate the edge. No matter, this is a rectangle, this was not cut at the time. It was way up here, and I just got a level. And what I did was just took a scribe compass and ran a compass down along it, and that's why I got that curve. The other one was a little bit tougher. What I had to do was actually measure this angle. So what I did was I took my combination square here and got so it's level and it read out eight degrees pretty consistently wherever I checked it. So with that eight degrees, um, I marked this off and I made sure that the outside edge was not cut and the inside edge was cut, so when it comes level. And you can see I used my um, tilt here, set this to eight degrees, came in and it pretty, did a pretty nice job. So this is a mock-up piece and this is where I am right now. And unfortunately, no two will match. Every single one has to be custom made. And this is a uh, pine. I put these two together to simulate the thickness. It's a little bit thicker. That's only an inch, a quarter, an inch and a half. But it gives me an idea. So trimming all that oak is going to be, going to be killer. But uh, never, it's never, I'm never going to get it perfect. But um, it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, once I get these all established, I'll figure out the distance between the two, and then I can put my. Uh, my uh, mortises in and my tenons. And I got a special blade for my hack for my uh, bandsaw to cut the, the tenons in the legs. But so now I'm going to take my uh, long piece that I have and I'm going to cut it into longer than I need in case I screw it up. And then each one now all four are going to be custom. <laughs> Excuse me. There you go. <laughs> custom made. And uh, we'll take you to the next step. All right, so here we are. Um, got my tenons cut on the uh, barrel supports. Just had a stop block set up on my bandsaw, and uh, I got a nice long tenon here. So the next step, I just did some testing on some uh, slot sizes here, and that's going to be about the right, the white width, the right white bleh, width. Got my dado blade set to the proper height. And rather than having to cut a mortise in these two guys, because what we're gonna do is take these two like that, and this will be mortise inside. So why go through all that work? I'm just gonna use my table saw and dado with the right width. And uh, we'll encapsulate the, uh, the supports. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come through about that much and this would actually be my foot on the bottom of the unit so the next step is to set up and, and cut those um, mortises get the tenons fit and then uh, I'll be back okay guys so I got my tenons cut these are uh, the supports on the barrel these are the cross pieces that will go like so
Now it's a hammer fit. It's a little bit tight. I'm gonna I gotta work on it some more. So <clears throat> those will be the legs coming through. But um, I'm using my, um, my dado blade here, and uh, we gotta do is just plane these and get them to fit better. So I just got a hammer fit. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, what I'm doing is just using a small block going across my dado blade once I had the, the height set uh, with some scrap. So now I'm close. I just had to maybe hit it with a plane to get it where I want it. And then uh, we'll move on. All right, so here's where we are, guys. Um, the pieces for the bottom are done. I got them rounded off. Got my tenons and mortises all cut. Uh, these all have to be leveled eventually. But now I, I need the piece between here. I'm going to come through with a tenon and mortise and drive a key in here to uh, to hold it. And then it's back to the lumber yard. Oh, and I got this dirty old piece of red oak. Then I have to clean up with a plane. And uh, yes, I will wear my respirator. I have a power planer, a hand power planer, but this is more fun. step one thing this project is doing is it's forcing me to do things that i've been putting off for a long time one thing, this drill press fixture because now oh this was the um um this was the end leg barrels up on top actually barrels up on top and I'm going to run support between the two, and I'm going to put a tenon in here, uh, or a mortise in here, and the tenon will come through and be keyed. So what we need to do here is make sure that I can go safely across here cleanly. And I put a groove in here so the, um, so the bit will... We'll grab onto that and that's less I'm gonna to have to chisel away with a chisel. So let's see how that goes. I need my go a hold of my jig I just made. And I don't want to go all the way to the end. I wanna just a little bit short of the end so I can then chisel it out.
right, so this is the finished mortise here. I didn't show the whole thing because if you want to see that done, you want to see a professional do it, not me. This is my first time. I'm doing the best I can, but I'm okay with it. And now I'm going to do the other one. It's probably going to be a custom 10 right and left. Because uh, the odds of me getting these both exactly the same, it's probably pretty rare. But I'm okay with that. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's time to cut the, the tenons. I'm going to cut them a little bit in the large side. So if I have to, I can I can use a chisel to cut them down. Got my stop block for my distance. That's two inches for the, uh, the cross piece. And another uh, inch and three quarters for the key, which I'm going to put a, another mortise in here. So let's rock and roll. This piece is long enough, so if I screw up, <laughs> I get one more try. 